I'm surrounded by some of the world's smartest computer engineers here at the IDF show, the Intel Developers Forum, in beautiful downtown San Francisco, where thousands of developers from around the world come to get the tools to create tomorrow's technology today. Let's take a trip back in history for a moment. Take a look at these relics from the 80s. Tiny screen and big bulky computers, 20, 25 pounds, certainly not battery powered. Then you fast forward to today, super sleek, two pound notebook computers with Intel Core 2 Duo technology, wide screen display, high definition content, surround sound audio, built in Wi-Fi, all in, you know, something that we all tote around with us and don't even think twice about it. Unbelievable. But now let's go look at tomorrow. I just talked to you about Core 2 Duo technology, which is like having two engines under the hood of the car. Well, what about Quad Core? That is the big buzz here at IDF. Four brains or four engines under the hood of the PC that's going to drive tomorrow's desktops with incredible power and speed and energy efficiency, by the way, which is is amazing. So not only can you have faster performance, and gamers are certainly waiting for this, but you can also multitask as well. You can surf the net and play music and write emails and instant messages simultaneously without any noticeable slowdown. Another big story here at the show is Intel Vive, V-I-I-V, which is driving entertainment into the living room. You can now kick back on your couch in your family room and enjoy all that wonderful rich media on a widescreen display. It's this fusion between the PC and the TV. Some of the big announcements here at the show were between Intel and Yahoo. Yahoo is calling it Yahoo Sports on TV. This is real-time streaming of stats and scores and information to sports fanatics in a big screen experience. And uh, by the way, this is going to launch with fantasy football. It's going to be huge. And then there's Intel and AOL. It's called AOL Video Service. So you can watch movies on demand and other content with the push of a button. So again, no longer the mouse. Now it's the remote. And by the way, it is the 50th anniversary of the remote this year, believe it or not. Who knew that in 2006, we were not just uh, clicking one or two channels on the TV like it was back in the uh, 50s, but now it's uh, accessing the internet, even split screen, all from the comfort of your lazy boy. Another story is movies online. Instead of you know going to the store and renting a piece of plastic and coming home, you're now going to be able to watch movies on the internet. Morgan Freeman's latest film is coming out in December on the internet, just days after its theatrical release. It's pretty wild stuff. And speaking of Vive, who wants to be a millionaire? Well, that could be you if you design and create the next generation Vive PC, a small, sleek, and stylish computer for the living room. That's what's up for grabs, up to a million dollars in prizes. You can go to intel.com for more on that. Well, hey, that's incentive, you ask me. Here at the IDF, the Intel Developers Forum in San Francisco, I'm Mark Saltzman.